Is there an artistic looking woman here? Um, yeah, how about you? You look like you might want to marry me, right? No? What, that's a thing? I didn't know women could say no. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So I have no job, I, uh, no family, and I'm running through my apartment in my underwear. What's up guys and welcome back to Life is a Game. So some of you guys might remember that my first life was pretty miserable. Right, I was poor, I had no friends, I was a terrible father, and then I died. But throughout all of that, we were given a glimmer of hope. Just a chance at a better, bouncier, perkier life. And that's what I'm going after today. Now if we struggle again this episode, we can spend real world money to get better job opportunities throughout life. And I'm all for that, okay? If we need to pay a little bit to become a fireman, that sounds pretty exciting. We could be a police officer, that's really different. We could be a child to have bad eyes. I'm not sure why we would pay to be blind. <laughs> Especially considering I'm having a hard enough time getting through life with the ability to see it. That's a hard pass. For a second there, I thought that might be insensitive and in that I should apologize to my blind viewers. And then it dawned on me, would you call them viewers? <laughs> I'm going to hell. First, we get a basic understanding of the game, then we turn up the difficulty. Okay, it's nothing against blind people, it's just jokes, but I really need to be able to see my parents making me all that titty milk. Mainly mom, though. Right, dad's titty milk's a little off-putting. He can set me down the slide. There we go, thank you, dad. Equal opportunity. Now, I didn't realize this last time, but it says on the bottom there how much of a specific opportunity you can expect at this point in your life. Right, nine light bulbs, three paintbrushes, three babies. So I'm gonna focus on getting as many of each as I can. We got eight light bulbs, three brushes, which means I'll skip being a fire extinguisher huffer, I'll become an artist, how about that? And now we can focus on getting the palettes and making friends. We can talk to the guy that smells like a mix of aqua velva and chicken noodle soup, that's perfectly fine. Everybody likes me, yeah, there we go. Sorry, I had to jump over your head. I'm busy being an artist and humping bums. Is that a thing people do? Is that how people normally play rock, paper, scissors? No. No! No, I became an office worker! What? It didn't give me enough pallets! Oh, that is bogus. Do not tell me that I'm gonna be a washed up artist throughout this life. That is not okay. I do not accept this. I mean, I really did nail that PowerPoint presentation, but still, I thought we were doing so well! There's no way that nine passed me by, right? I'm not losing my mind. I'm gonna go get me a wife. Screw it. I'm still gonna live a happy life. I'm gonna take these flowers. I'm not gonna buy a car because I want to buy us a house. I'm still work on my art. You know what? I, I could be a poor non-artist taking the bus. <laughs> I'm sure that'll work out for me, right? Is there an artistic looking woman here? Um, yeah, how about you? You look like you might want to marry me, right? No? What, that's a thing? I didn't know women could say no. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So I have no job, I, uh, no family, and I'm running through my apartment in my underwear. How did it go so wrong? Is like the office worker a default job? It has to be because we've seen it so many times. I'm going to keep being an artist. You know what, screw it. I'm going to fill out my masterful artwork. I'm, I'm going to help this guy. I could barely do that because I'm actually incredibly weak. I keep smoking all the time. Oh, what went wrong? How did we screw this up? I'm a master artist. I'm, I'm green level. I could not be any better. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I can't buy a house. Why can't I buy a house? I have $780. Great. So, just to recap, I have no family. I have no job despite being an amazing artist and I live in a crack den. How? I, I really did think we were doing well. I, uh, Maybe I needed to be blind? Would being blind have helped? <laughs> blind artist doesn't sound like a good thing, right? Well, for a first run, I'm gonna say we could have probably done better. Just gonna throw it out there because as soon as I throw myself into this casket, I'm sure we're gonna find out. It doesn't feel good. I, uh, just, I don't understand. A lot of people show up. Right, but he lived as a poor office worker, not an artist, which is upsetting. He was focused on painting. 
okay, yeah, that's different. I, I guess I did focus on painting. He kept his distance from his friends. He lived a life without a partner. People said he was cold-hearted. He rode the bus because he never bought a car. God damn it. I'm like 99% sure that that school just screwed me out of a job. I did everything right. Or at least it feels like I did. It's a common problem in public schools. Okay, they promise you that they'll give you a good education and then they don't throw nearly enough pallets at your face. They cut funding and it's just ridiculous. So now you need to have a better start at life. Can I change things up here? What if I get a bunch of light bulbs as well as the paintbrushes? I don't know what the light bulbs do. We have three paintbrushes, so now I just need to focus on light bulbs. Can I get nine? Okay, nine and three. We're gonna say no to fire extinguishers and we're gonna become an artist and we're gonna focus on our art. That has to be good enough, right? Please tell me that gives me more pallets. I, I don't care about anything else. I only want pallets. And you know what? We'll talk to you. You smell, you smell. That, that's all I'll say. How about that? We will leave it at that. We will not offend our new friends. Where did all the pallets come from all of a sudden? Are you kidding me? There's so many of them. Okay, we got nine. I missed a bunch and I'm an artist. Yeah, all right, I'm a friendless artist. I'm gonna continue being a friendless artist. Can I paint myself a friend? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll paint ourselves a friend. I'm also poor as all hell, but that's perfectly fine. You know what, Rob Boss doesn't need friends or money. He has art. That's what I like to see. Now, we need to get ourselves a wife. Please, I can afford the good flowers this time. We got the good flowers, we're gonna socialize and we're not gonna buy a car. I think we can pick up chicks with the bus. That's a stretch for a guy with an afro who calls himself an artist. But you know what? Rob Boss can pick up any girl. How about you? Yeah, there we go. We actually pulled it off. I even got the funny little hat I just realized. Oh, okay, life is going much better now. We are gonna be romantic at every possible opportunity. And then you're gonna go to the bottom of the stairs and have a baby. There we go, perfect. You can just spit that baby out. That's where babies come from, right? I'm gonna focus on my family time as well as my art. I do my best to have a very good balance here. Do, oh no, oh, oh no, oh, Rob Boss, what happened? You got fat. How did you get fat? Oh, you still, how can you not paint? Okay, I'll focus on my family. You, you really cannot jump, dude. How did you get fat? It doesn't make sense. You weren't eating anything. Look at the gut on him. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Okay, well, um, we're, we're gonna friends and a house. Good. Okay, we have a modest lifestyle. We have full friends, full relationships, uh, full air, uh, full bladder. Can I, yeah, I need the pee chair bag. Thank you very much. I want to say that this might have been my best life ever. I, I, you would think that the little timer would give me more time in life, but nope. I don't know what any of that does. I have no sweet clue, but I'm now dead. A dead man walking. <laughs> I had to get rid of the afro in my old age, but I couldn't get rid of the wife. <laughs> that has to have worked, right? That couldn't have possibly gone any better. Please, please just give me a satisfying ending. My wife is sad. That's all right. Okay, he lived as a typical painter. I'll take that. That's all right. He liked painting. Okay, sure, that, that that works. Kept his distance from his friends. Did I not socialize a whole lot? I know I didn't have any friends in school. I tried my best. Okay, I'll accept it, but... He was a cold and heartless father. What the hell do you mean? You have got to be kidding me. Uh, 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 oh, uh, what could I have done differently? The king only has eyes for me. I've gotten this ad like every single time I play this game and it's so weird. You're upgrading a level one attractive woman to a level 50 attractive woman and then a king shows up with a boner and a king's throne game of lust. Leave a like on this video if you wanna see me play that garbage. So we know how to get a job now. That's a good start. Right now we just need to focus on not being a loner or a bad father or fat. 
Maybe actually learning how to paint something if we're gonna be an artist. Like, I'm so determined to make Rob Boss's life actually work, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. This game does not help you at all. I feel like this is optimized, right? We're doing well here. There's no way of getting everything, so we might as well get the most that we can. Bunch of light bulbs, bunch of brushes. Okay, good. Now, we're saying no to fire extinguishers, we'll move on. We're gonna become an artist, we're gonna work on our art right away, and we're gonna try to get some friends. Please, somebody, be my friend. No, I missed a palette and you were my friend. This is just the worst, be my friend. Why does everybody hate me? Oh, oh, a friend. I, I missed a lot of palettes, but I made one friend. Is that gonna cost me my job? Probably, nope, nope. Okay, we made a friend. Do not give me that bullshit again. I made a friend, that's what matters most, right? Hey, hey, uh, you, you wanna be my friend? Nope, screw you then, I'm gonna call my friends. How about that? And I'm gonna paint something beautiful, wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna smoke a little bit as well because I'm feeling a little bit stressed out here. <laughs> I and I should be avoiding food, actually. You know what, the food, it's making me sad and that's probably what's making me fat, come to think of it. Cause I don't have a hunger meter. Okay, we'll work on our art, we have money now. So, we're gonna get ourselves a nice bouquet and a car. Yeah, you know what? I feel like driving a car. We can earn enough money to buy a house later. Maybe, right? I, I don't wanna live in the crack den, but this is a good start. <laughs> I'm gonna call my friends again, and you're gonna marry me. Marry me, do not, she's impossible. She's literally impossible, but it's not too late. She was the first one. How about, how about I'm, I'm clicking choose you. Y'all take you, sloppy seconds. There we go. <laughs> that is how I know my wife. Okay, honey, let's go home. We're gonna be romantic and I'm gonna try to be the best father I can. I have spent so much time calling my friends. I'm like the bestest friend right now. So you better not give me that crap if everybody hated me. Oh, oh, you, she didn't have a kid. What? She, she just was vacuuming the house. So I can't be a bad father this time. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> that works for me. Oh, and I painted a bit of a masterpiece. Okay, and I'm not fat. This sounds like it's going better, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my wife again. Yeah, don't worry, honey. I won't call you sloppy seconds to anybody ever again. T trust me, you're, you're doing great. <laughs> you just keep hanging out at home and I'm gonna buy us a bigger home. I'm gonna buy us the biggest home. How about that? There we go. This has to be a positive, right? And uh, I'm gonna call my wife. Hey, honey, <laughs> right behind you. We're a couple old ballers. Just rolling around in our pee bag chair. God, I almost threw up saying that. <laughs> Something about the pee bag chair really gets to me, I'm not gonna lie. Can I please buy a little more time? Nope. Okay, so look at that. I'm a good artist. I'm level five friend, level four family man. There's no way that I was a bad person in life. I swear to God, if it just screws over Rob Boss again, there's no winning. It just isn't. <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Please just wrap him up. He's dead. There's no avoiding that. Wife is here, fine. What do you got for me? He lived as a wealthy painter, okay? I'm watching myself on TV, I like that. He didn't have the luxury to have a hobby. Really? Didn't have a hobby? No? Okay, okay then, could've swore painting was a hobby. He listened to his friends' problems at times. Okay, so I had friends. He was cold towards the world, but warm to his wife. <laughs> Okay, I didn't expect that. So instead of being a bad father, I'm a good husband with a selfie stick and uh, a wife who's definitely packing. All right, I'll take that, that's pretty good. People remembered him as a good man. I like it. Is this the good ending of the game? I honestly don't know because it doesn't give you more of a sentence. I mean, it does when you go back through life, it says all the things that you would have rathered, but like, I feel like that's a good ending. I gotta try one more time. Okay, I honestly wasn't planning on making this entire episode about the life and times of Rob Boss, but I feel like we were so close to getting the perfect life. Like all that went wrong was that we apparently didn't have a hobby, I, I guess because it became our job, and it would have been nice to have kids. You know, I wanna prove that I could be a good father, so maybe we need to marry a different woman? Oh, I never actually thought about that. Maybe we're constantly rejected by that artistic girl because she just doesn't want to get married, it's impossible, and Sloppy Seconds never has kids. 
<laughs> so we're gonna become an artist and we're gonna find ourselves a girl who wants what we want and I think if we want a hobby, we need to find it here during school. We're not gonna have time for friends because they're gonna constantly reject us, but I would imagine if we can get nine of something else and then 10 of the palette, then there's a chance that we would have a hobby. You know, like if I, I get a bunch of music notes, then I would be an artist who enjoys music. I, I don't know either. We didn't get it anyway. There's not enough time, okay? There's not enough time in school. There's too much. Oh my God, why does everybody hate me? Why do I suck at my job? I just want to successfully get married, okay? Screw it. I don't care about anything else. That is going to be my goal, and I am poor as dirt. Oh, yeah, painting something nice would have really helped there. I'm going to go in debt because I want to get married. I'm Screw my job. I'm just going to try to have friends as best I can. We'll take the bus. That's going to cost us another $10. $10 to ride a bus? What the hell is wrong with this bus? Who wants to marry me? You? How about you? Okay, you're new. We haven't married you before. I really hope you want kids. I'm gonna work on our relationship right now. I'm gonna be the best family man I can be. We're gonna be romantic in the park. You're gonna twiddle your fingers through my giant afro. Now go have a kid. Yes, there we go. Have two kids if you can. Am I missing any choices here, by the way? Like, can I kiss her hand, shake the baby? Normally, you would shake somebody's hand and kiss babies, but maybe I am a bad father. <laughs> oh, and a bad artist. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm calling my wife again. I'm going to do everything in my power to have this run be a good family man run. That's all that matters right now. And I don't want to die from smoking. That would also kind of matter. I, I can't afford a house. Can you be a good family man if you live in a crack den? Honey? You want to come? Look, we have so many <laughs> your TVs. Look at them. They're so beautiful. Uh, would you like to ride the pee bag chair? Because I can't. I'm dead. Wow, I died real quick there. <laughs> this game is so difficult. I honestly can't believe it. I, I guess that's why it's fun. You know, it has that replayability. You got to try over and over and over again to get the perfect life. But God damn it, man. We had to have been a good family, man. Oh. Okay. He lived as a poor painter. All right, that that's fine. Uh, he, he didn't have the luxury to have a hobby. I tried, but I'll, all right, I'll take it. Kept his distance from his friends. Debatable, but he was a good husband and a good father. Yes! <laughs> Finally, I did something right. <laughs> People said he was cold-hearted. Oh, shut the hell up. He... He. You know what? We'll end on he. I'll take it. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Life is a Game, guys. And there are a lot more careers to explore in this, so I'm really interested in seeing if you guys want more. Like, not only do we have the fireman and the police officer and stuff like that, but we can be a rock star, we could be an athlete, a surgeon... I could clearly do better at various other aspects of my life than just my career. So you guys will have to let me know. Leave a like in the video, leave a comment, that kind of stuff, and maybe I'll return to run through life some more. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.